Hello everyone, welcome back to a new video. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to make a balance command using mongoose. So now, let's hop into the video. Okay guys, so first of all we're gonna go and create a new schema and let's name it uh, uh, profile profile schema dot js okay so now let's call mongo equal require mongoose and let's do const so this is so not every time I have to type uh, require and type string like required true and type string so I'm gonna just do the variable for it so I'm gonna ty type here string and required true okay so let's now go here and type const profile uh, schema equal mongo dot schema and let's put gold id and then require string like this uh, and then let's put comma and then user id and let's put require string as well and then coins so here we got type uh, type number because it will be in number basically and required is true as well okay so let's type over here module.exports equal mongo.model and let's put here profile and then profile schema okay so now let's Wait, for schema, it should be this. Yeah, okay. So now let's create our uh, like file. Instead of typing everything in the command, so we're gonna make a new folder. Let's not mean in database, anything, it doesn't really matter. And let's create a new file, name it economy.js. So. First of all, we're gonna define Mongo, so it's called Mongo equal require. And let's put here uh, dot, dot slash Mongo. And then const profile schema. And let's, let's put equal require dot, dot slash schema for models. Dot, dot slash models. What do I mean schema? Okay, so basically schema slash profile schema. So const coins cache. So let's put this. And then module.exports equal client. Let's put here like this. And then equal, let's put this. So module.exports.coins equal async. I'm doing that, like, you, you can put it in the, like, uh, balance of JS, but I'm doing it here so it don't be messy code. Okay, so that's why I put it over here. So what I'm doing right now is basically I am uh, making this, like, say, say, making the actual command. So, like, how can I say that? Uh, I'll see if I've cached. Okay, equal coins. So basically, uh, basically making the actual command, but like not the command, like we're type uh, equal val. We're making the schema, we're making the how the schema will be looking like. Okay, so coins cache. Okay, and um, by the way, I got help with this from uh, one of Key's channels. So this code is not all mine, there is some changes in it because I'm still kind of new in uh, Mongoose, but you guys want to Mongoose, so I'm making Mongoose for you. So if let's type here 
cash okay let's put cash cash value okay so here we type return and um, cash okay. okay so let's start here return await mongo dot then async here mongo so let's use the try and catch method so catch errors if it is an error we okay result to await the file schema dot find one so basically right now if someone his first time or not first time like, we're basically just searching for him in the database right now so this is someone typed it so we're like searching for it let me just put here catch so there we go so here is the left coin coins basically so it goes start with uh, zero coins that's the normal coins like everybody starts with uh, zero coins so now results and let's put here this so uh sorry not results like result so coins equal result dot coins basically else await new profile schema okay now gold id user id coins and then let's save that so you are typing to save okay so uh now let's go over here i guess and let's do like this coins cash equal or not equal like this i'm actually kind of like not kind of, i'm very new in uh, mongos so i should have for uh one of keys okay user id equal coins okay so now we're gonna just put return return uh coins and basically just how to say that just put here here let's get all of this basically and just let's delete this okay let's delete this and type here finally okay and we're gonna use here mongo goes dot connection dot close uh now let's go to uh, the commands okay and normal and let's create a new file and name it balance.js and let's put the const discord equal require discord.js and const economy the file we just made equal require dot uh, here dot dot slash dot dot slash database slash economy okay so now model dot exports dot run equal async and let's put here client message that's for my uh, commands handler if you don't have one make sure to check out my commands handler video and here we're gonna type prefix okay and then our function and the here so if the message don't start with the prefix so dot message content dot starts with return okay now let's make like if uh, or not if let let user equal message dot mentions dot users dot first and uh, now let's do it like this so it can be someone else that is message dot author message dot author now const gold id equal message dot gold dot id and const user id will be user dot id so now const coins coins equal await economy dot coins and let's put here gold id user id so we're basically getting the gold id and the user id and then message dot channel 
Sand. Let's put here a uh, user dot username. Uh, have now, and let's put coins. Uh, coins like this. Now let's try it. Hopefully it work. Okay, I got an error. Oh yeah, I know. Uh, I forgot. Model dot exports dot help equal name bell balance aliases. Let's put one that is bell basically. Now let's try it. No error, nothing so far. Okay, so now let's try it. If I did equal bell. Outer actually have now zero coins. Is there any error? No, there is no errors. Now if I go here, like in the compass, and if I reload, I see in here profile. Like here data, profile. So here I will find the guild ID and the user ID and the coins. So in the net, wait, I got here this. Yeah, just ignore this. It is not a big deal. Just ignore it. So, uh, by the way, this is from the old video, not this one too. This is because I set the prefix the same as the usual prefix. That's why. So that was it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like and to subscribe and to leave a comment down below what you want the next video to be. That's it, and ciao!